wife, Jody, and uh, his youngsters there, Hunter and Buddy. Matt Hodgson, final game, a foundation player after a debut in 2006. He was here for game one, and he's here for what could be the Force's last game in Super Rugby. 140th cap, a Force record, 19 tries, second behind Cameron Shepard, who scored 30. 54th game as captain, Nathan Sharp holds the record for 78 games as captain. And uh, he has 46 wins for the force, and that is a record as well. Matt Hodgson, terrific bloke, great player, and uh, gee, there's been a lot of emotion surrounding his swan song. Yeah, so much around the community here in WA, schools and clubs. I think he'd be very proud of that, but also 11 test matches for the Wallabies during his time he's played with some wonderful players. Gitto, you know, Nathan Sharp, Pocock. Nick Berry is our referee. Television match officially in Smith and the assistants are Will Houston and Graham Cooper. So the Waratahs, they beat the Force in Sydney way back in week one, but since then they've won just three games. They've beaten the Rebels twice, the Reds once, and the Western Force are looking to win four games in a season at home for the first time since 2014. And we are underway in slippery wet conditions in the West. And it is the New South Wales Waratahs who are desperate to start well this week. It's been a floor in their season, the amount of points they concede in the first half. Back to Foley for the clearance. Keeps it in the field of play. It goes down to his opposite number, Peter Grant, and across now to Dane Haler Petty. And it's been snapped out of the air there by Jake Gordon. And it goes forward, so it is play on. It's loose by the Waratahs at the breakdown. And Haylett Petty gets it out to his brother, up to the halfway, that's Ross. Then Haylett Petty, and now Rona going wide, and he got away from one, got it back on the inside, and New Zealand try time to the Western Force. What about the start? Unbelievable. Alex Newsom gets his fifth try in his rookie season, and again... A terrible start by the Waratahs. Well, when you're the skipper, Matty Hodson, he would have spoke to the team before they ran, so we have to start well. What a start. What's the work from Curtis Rohner on the right-hand side? He's 50 metres out. He just keeps running. Damien Fitzpatrick holds off, falls off, and his leg drive got him across because Israel Folau was coming across. That's just brilliant support play from the Western Force from Newsom. Yeah, Timmy, what a great bit of play. Look at this ball in two hands, showing, going, I might run, I might pass, I'll keep my feet. Beautiful offload and the support play. What a perfect start for the force. Hey, as you said, they would have spoken about starting well, and they're pumped by that start, and a really good way to get the crowd behind you when you're playing such an emotional match. And it's going to be Peter Grant to the side of the post, and no problem from there. So the man that scored over 950 points in Super Rugby keeps the scoreboard ticking over. It is seven oh, points to nil. If you've just joined us after two minutes, another poor start by the Waratahs, but a fantastic beginning for the Western Force. Good work, Curtis Ryder. Wonderful player. Billy Meeks, that centre combination so far in 2017 has worked really well. So Coleman, safe under the high ball. Marcel Brachy finds himself in the middle of the rolling ball. The left winger. And then it's a nice Serrani going to ground. And it's not going to come out of there. So the Waratahs will gain a bit of confidence out of that. They'll get the put in on the 10 metre mark. An opportunity for them to attack. George Gregan, this scrum's right in front of you on the sideline. The condition's obviously very slippery after the, the rain pre-game, but also just drizzling at the moment. Yeah, they had just a bit of uh, quite a big downpour just before the, both teams ran out. So it is a bit slippery, but this is a good surface. It's a hard surface in terms of short grass. And what I do like is the fact that uh, the referee's got them in nice and close to make sure the footing's nice and strong. So we don't have a lot of repacks, but uh, it's going to play a significant role these conditions tonight. Gordon puts it in, takes it out. Naya Ravoro looking for an early touch. The big man crashes over the top of Grant. So Gordon getting it out now to Hennigan. Gordon, now Kepu. They continue to work over to the left side and the inside ball to Robertson running off Foley. Now Dempsey. 
Good defense from Coleman. Let it come, hold blue. Peter Grant still down in back play for the force. And the chip through. The chase is on. Foley keeps it on the toe. Oh, was he taken out there by Dane Halepetti? No, he wasn't. Fair play. So we'll come back to the 22. Nice play from Bernard Foley. Good thinking. No one in behind. Dane, Dane Halepetti was coming across defensively and did well to cover. There's going to be a lot more of that on, along the ground in these conditions is perfect. The chip over the top doesn't work in these conditions. Dane Halepetti covered. Peter Grant making a low tackle on Nora Vorbo. Yeah, yeah. okay. Was on the ground for a long time. Still getting treatment now in back play. Just gets to his feet. Well, head to head, these two teams have played 17 time times. Time. The Waratahs have won 11. The Force 5. There was a one draw in Sydney in 2007. Here in Perth at NIB, it's the Waratahs with five wins. The Force 2. Crossed out at Subiaco in the early years of the Western Force. The Waratahs won two to none. Line, so it is play on now. And Foley has to take it into contact. Lays it back for Gordon, who has a little sniper, then hands it off to his captain, Michael Hooper. And the penalty will go against yeah, the Western Force. Yep. It's effective to clear out. No, two. You're fine. Two's got to get out. Bernard Foley points immediately for Shot the right. post. Tafu Plotter now penalised for not rolling away. Good little snipe from Jake Gordon. I like the way he does that, George. Around the edge of the breakdown, he really asks some questions. He likes running to the right-hand side as well. And he makes those couple of guys, the pillars close to the breakdown make those defensive tackles yeah he keeps them honest doesn't he and i think one part of the game which you'd like to see them add is like when he does do that or, or the anytime a halfback's running you've got those people flattening up and looking to hit holes square but he certainly asks a lot of questions around there with his running game and particularly in these greasy conditions it's not a bad option to have that's for sure so bernard foley with his first shot of the night kicking at 82 percent in 2017 in super rugby Five from five last week. 22 points last week against the Hobaris. And no problem with the distance. And the direction is good as well. And so the Waratahs on the board. It is the Western Force leading by seven points to three. And skipper Michael Hooper knew how important it was to get a little bit of field position, but also come away with some points as well after only six minutes of play. Well, the stats show that the Waratahs don't shoot for the post as much as other teams they've been happy to put it into the corner and go for seven the points are important for them when you've got their first half record this year so grant in field it goes to hale petty happy to run it into the forwards on halfway and grant finds tetra fortner Meeks oh, from a standing start. He loses it though. It's backwards and so playing a scrum advantage. Knocked on by the force a second time round. And there's the grubber kick from Foley and Hooper. Doesn't get to attack the ball because the whistle had gone. So I don't mind that from the Waratahs. Bernard Foley not finding touch in these conditions. Kick long and back your defensive pressure. Nice moment, gentlemen, at the seven minute mark of this game. The crowd on its feet. Matt Hodgson, the man with seven on his back, and they are chanting Hodjo, Hodjo. It's a, a tribute to their stalwart retiring tonight. A nice touch again. Scored 13 tries at NIB Stadium, Matt Hodgson, so that's a, a record. 12 seasons. He gets a start. He's replacing Richard Hardwick. Is Ralph Falau right hand side? And it goes to Falau now. And he got the ball away to Naya Ravora, and the big man is into touch. That's a good number eight defensive tackle from Nicerani. So a little bit short on numbers. The number eight from the force came across and covered Naya Ravora. Just take responsibility for your line. Boy, step Israel Falau is standing in behind the scrum, so Jake Gordon had some options. It's nice, Arani, stay alive. Makes the tackle. 
Good line out win by the force. And Pilotta now has it at the back. And he's happy to rumble a little further upfield. Advantage is being played now for the Western Force is Ruru. Got it out to Grant. He lays it back. Ruru, nice Arani. Got away from the attempted tackle of Dean Mummer. Then off lows, but uh, it's gone forward. So advantage being played. So it goes against Tom Robertson for collapsing the ball. Nice Arani. Every time he gets the ball, he always beats that first up defender. Such a handful last week. Ran for over 100 run metres. Three tackle bus, 11 tackles. Certainly got himself involved. Well, the, up, the upside to that too, Tim, he's got good footwork and he can get an offload game. You just saw that from pretty much a standing start. And they knew they had balls not out. That's they're the sort of errors which hurt you in this type of conditions. And Foley happy to put it into touch this time up around the halfway mark. In fact, no, it's about no, nine metres inside Waratah's territory. So, mistake there from the Western Force, not finding touch, but they will get the throw into the lineup inside okay, the Waratah's territory okay. anyway. Waratah's have won the last two against the step Force, off. again for three in a row for the first time since 2014, going for four straight wins in Aussie derbies for the first time since 2015. One at the back by the Force, and Meeks to Peter Grant. Throwing one over now to Newsom. Cuts back in field and it's an opportunity on the far side for Harlot Petty. Advantage is being played now for the Western Force. It goes now to Matt Phillip. And the Waratahs coming through with a penalty. Will go to the Force and they take it quickly. And Ruru. They're inside the 10. Real opportunity here. And will he go to the pocket? He will. I've got a feeling it could be a yellow card. Yet another yellow card. And it is Jake Gordon, the scrum half who is coming from the field. Gee, they've had six yellow cards in the past four games, the Waratahs. Discipline's really hurting them. Jake Gordon going off now. That was smart play from Michael Ruru. Quick tap and go. He knew that the players weren't re retreating back 10 metres. Yeah, it was a clever decision, wasn't it, Tim? He knew, they knew they had the advantage... In the 22, it's very hard to get back 10 metres, so clever, clever play there from Ruru and just milked another 10, 10 metres and also got a yellow card out of it. So they're a really good opportunity for them to uh, take this numerical advantage with the extra man. Go for touch, yeah, nice call. Matt Hodgson, he's got some momentum, the skipper, so let's take a five metre line out. Just watch where the Waratahs try and number up. Dean Mum, Ned Hannigan. Don't lift. So, a great opportunity here for the locals. They've already scored one try, and they're edging closer. Momentum here for the Western Force. Getting very close. It's a try. The referee has a close look. And there's another five-pointer as the crowd applauds. Some good work by the forwards. To Tafu Pilota now. Second try for the season, 14th for his career. And the momentum is with the home team. Yeah, good decision. As I mentioned, Matt Hodson go for touch five. Line out. And just the drive they got going forward. Tetra Faulkner. To Tafu Pilota now. Watch him at the back. Ruru comes in and helps with five metres out and gets a really good drive going forward. I thought Bernard Foley had stopped the try here, got underneath. But finally, the Tafu plotter now just got it down. Yeah, Timmy, was all in the setup, wasn't it? Initially, the men up front, they just kept that arrowhead and they stayed nice and tight. Didn't allow any of the Waratahs to come through and disrupt that drive. They just split it off at the end. There's no way you're going to let Tafu Pilota now not score that close to the line. So, an emotional try. It's really bringing this crowd into the equation. Western Force coach, though, Vessels, was asked during the week, you know, how are you going to keep a lid on the emotion? And he looked at the reporter and he said, why would we want to do that? He said, let them enjoy it. Let them enjoy the build-up. And he's got them cherry ripe for the start of this game. So Peter Grant, five tests for the Springboks. Now 32 years of age, 124th game of Super Rugby. And he...
adds the extra two, so it is 14 points to three. So the Waratahs, yet another yellow card, yet another converted try while they're down a man in the bin. And to Tafu Pilota now, that's his very first try at his new ground, NIB Stadium. He had some work to do too, to Tafu Pilota now. So there was two Waratahs defenders on him, and he finally got it down right on the line. Jake Gordon still over seven minutes in the sin bin left for him. And it'll be Bernard Foley. So it looked like Peter Grant's leaving the field. It must be a concussion test. Well, he's kicked the conversion and left the field. Foley goes along with the kickoff. And it goes down to the replacement. Lance, and he's taken by his former teammate, Michael Hooper. And safely into touch. 12 metres inside Western Force Territory. John o Lance. He's a former Queensland Red and former New South Wales Waratah. One by Dempsey. Now to Foley, who's into scrum half, and Hooper out to Rob Horn in his one song before heading to the UK. And Foley thought he spotted a gap, and now he offloads, and Wells takes it forward. Good carry up to the 22. Fitzpatrick. No Tolu Latu again this week for the Waratahs. He injured himself playing for his club team, Sydney University, last week. Stay blue. Pick and go here. See Bernard Foley playing scrum half. Number 10 there. So he's just trying to get some forward runners. Sikopi Kepu, very slow to get uh, up, and he looks to be in some trouble. Sikopi Kepu, down on his haunches in back play. Now it goes out to Michael Hooper, who just slips, and Bracky is there to claim him. Robertson. Oh, good counter coming in from Bill Meeks. But it comes back for the Waratahs, and the ball was out, and so diving on it there was Ross Alipetti. Just look at the enthusiasm of the Western Force forwards at the breakdown. And now they go wide again. This time it's Lance who has to just check his run and come back in. And now the penalty. Too hard, yeah. And it goes against Jack Dempsey and the Hale Petty. Advantage because they won't back the 10 metres again. So now it goes out to Philip. And the pass from Halek Petty across to Braki. He does well, the winger, to stay in the field of play. And now penalty. Foley comes in, so discipline really hurting the Waratahs. What are you feeling out there? It's also the up-tempo that the Western Force are playing. Dane Halek Petty took a quick tap, had advantage. Went straight down the middle of the field, then shifted the ball to the left and really picked the pace of the game up to try and take it to the Waratahs. Yeah, it's a good point to me, isn't it? Like they're really they're taking every opportunity to play at their at, at their pace. Yeah, there's a, a couple of high shots have been coming in, so you're gonna have to watch the discipline, the Waratahs. But uh, it's been a fantastic start where they've tapped into the emotion, they've executed their skills really well. No better example than here at line out time where they set up another drive. Only 17 minutes gone already. The Force have scored more points tonight than any other opening 20 minutes this season. They lead by 14 points to three. Two converted tries to none. And the Waratahs still with the man in the bin. So back it goes to Horwitz this time. Not a great kick. Not a lot of distance on that. So Braki fires it across now to Hale Petty. Taken on halfway by Horwitz. Oh, poor pass. Ball is a little slippery, but no excuse for that, really. No fullback for the Western Force, but no one spotted that for the Waratahs. And a loose carry there from Kepu, who Under was down not so long ago. The original knock from Blue. Raspy Matty at his shoulder, so we'll keep an eye on him. Just give me nose and watch. It's good pressure from Michael Hooper. Up on Adam Coleman, back in the 22 metre mark, put the pressure on. Don't see Adam Coleman drop too many. Off, yeah, I'll move you Three handling errors so far. 
of the Western Force. So Kobe Kepu just grabbing at his left pec muscle, his shoulder. Roy, you seen anything? 80 tests for the Wallabies. Started all but one game this year. 110th Super Rugby appearance. You can see him on the ground there in back play. Just past the breakdown. Went through to clean out. Decision time. Toughest players in the field, Sakobi Kepu. Okay. Michael Hooper talking to referee Nick Berry, saying how loose the game is. That's coming through the pressure from the Western Force. Sakobi Kepu with tight head prop up against Peck Cowan. These two teams have been playing against each other for 12 years and already the Western Force have scored more first half points than they've ever scored before against the Waratahs in the opening 40. So it's all pointing in the right direction as they try and send Matt Hodgson out as a winner. But here on the downside, Peter Grant will not be coming back for the Western Force. Uh, he failed his concussion test. Wow, and he did uh, slot the conversion as well, so he was doing that from memory. Yeah, John O'Lance on, there's Bernard Foley putting the ball into the scrum. See, because Jake Gordon is still off with two minutes left in the sin bin. wonder if he's practiced this in training, Bernard Foley. Waiting for the tap from Damien Fitzpatrick. Does it well. And the penalty goes against the Western Force on halfway. Congratulations all around by the Waratahs. Tetra Faulkner penalised for collapsing the, the scrum. Cameron Clark there coming in and talking to his forward pack. He knows how important that was. Only a quarter of the game gone. But it's right Rafael Al stepping up. Head. 50 metres he out. Right in front. Gee, Tim, from memory, this has got to be his first ever kick in Super Rugby, Israel Folau. Yeah, and from 50 out right in front, so he's left it a long time to take his first ever kick in Super Rugby, just out of the range of Bernard Foley. He's obviously done a bit of training, because you just don't step up and say, give me a crack, do you? Not in the last game of the regular season. Also eats up a little bit of time while Jake Gordon is still sitting on the sideline waiting to come back on. So a little bit of history here. A first for Israel Folau. Can he nail it? And he has the direction, but not the distance. Gee, only short by a couple of metres too, Israel Folau. Hit it fairly sweet. So it remains 14 points to three, but they did wind down the clock a little bit. And Jake Gordon, you would think, would be back on there after the next stoppage. So... Hang time there, and Falau takes it, and they claim him immediately. That's one way to get to Israel Falau out of the attack. Keep him at the bottom of the ruck. Maya Ravoro. Again, flirting at the touchline. He might be 130-odd kilograms, but you've got to watch the chalk. Dane Halapetti pushed him across to the sideline, shutting the sideline. Blue. Oh, Ravoro got to come off the right foot and Blue, stay in field. Watch Billy Meeks just waiting, waiting. Billy Meeks shows him the sideline as well. Yeah, well Billy Meeks is a courageous, a courageous defender. We saw there's a go to the driving wheel. We've had some success. And we'll see them continue doing this. Tatafi just driving at the back. 15 on 15 again. Jake Gordon back from the sin bin. And Ruru goes high and Falau comes forward and leaps and takes it again on halfway this time. And Gordon, yeah, playing the scrum half. Leave it, leave it, you got the penalty. Leave it, boys. No, it was no, his we're Sydney University it, teammate of old, Matt Phillip, that came through and put some pressure on him in an offside position. Blue roll. Just trying to disrupt Jake Gordon's quick ball. Israel Falau. 
There's not too many better under the high ball in world rugby. And here's Ralph Alau. Adam Coleman trying to roll out of the way as well. Matt Phillip coming through and disrupting the ball. Opportunity now, 15 metres out for the Waratahs. Right, let's go. Damien Fitzpatrick. Can't have two receivers. I need Ryan, one in there. Dean Mum calling the line out. And it goes to Mum. And Hooper offloads to Gordon. Now it is Dempsey. Pretty good carry. Gordon out to Fitzpatrick and solid defence there and Tafu Pilotta now right over the ball and it's a turnover and then the kick through. And Ruro is back there. So it was knocked on by Billy Meeks initially. So it will be the Waratahs with the put in. Option either side now. Scrum right in midfield. It's good defence from Peck Cowan. He's slow to get back to his feet. The number one and allowed to Tafu Pilotta now to get himself over the ball and nearly got a turnover. It's a tough, he's got himself in good position a couple of times this evening, Tim, and that's uh, almost created that turnover. A little bit of greasy conditions didn't allow didn't allow them to maximise that. So poor old Bill Meeks knocked that on, but puts the Waratahs in great position. You can see in that position, two people in the back. That's Bernard Foley and Israel Foley. They choose either way, 2-2 two -two split. So see what side they promote and what choice they make. You like to try and go right hand side if you can because Michael Ruru at number nine is defending on the right side of the Western Four side. So Bernard Foley would make sure that both sides are ready to go. Michael Wells at the back of the scrum for the Waratahs. Got Rob Horn on the right hand side with Nora Ravoro. Both packs, both packs are pre-engaged, okay? Let's get that space before the set. <laughs> Tapu plotted now and Sukopi Kepu, former teammates. The Moratars. <laughs> Tapu plotted now, telling Damian Fitzpatrick to help out Sukopi Kepu. <laughs> Crouch! Oh, I love it. Fine! Set! Gordon puts it in. Big shove coming from the Western Force. And it's been picked up by Michael Wells at the back in the nick of time. It's a terrific scrum by the locals. Now it's Hennigan. No way through there. Coleman right on top of him. Someone's thrown him into that. And Foley. There's Fitzpatrick. Release. Ten out. The Waratahs desperate for a try. Robertson goes in low. Now Kepu. Over the advantage line. Foley got it out to Michael Hooper. Right, right on top of him. Advantage. advantage is being played now, so they just have to remain patient now. Foley got it back to Hennigan. They weren't patient, but they were playing advantage. So they can take the three here and come away with some points. Matt Hodgson penalised, not rolling away. It was an important tackle he had to make too. Moritar staying to get into a little bit of patterns. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it was a nice build-up, wasn't it, Timmy, where they just controlled, controlled the ball and controlled where they actually were trying to attack. Sometimes a little bit closer, two passes a little bit wider. You're not going to get much further than that in these conditions, particularly with that tight, heavy contact with the line speed and good spacing from the force. They defended well, but that's a nice line. He runs beautiful square lines, Michael Hooper, and that set up that quick ball and forced this uh, uh, illegal infringement there from Matt Hodgson. Yeah, Matt Hodgson coming in from the side, so... Nick Berry, the referee, just saying, being careful down this end of the field. Twenty-seven gone in the first half.
Bernard Foley. Flags go up. 14 points to six. Western Force up over the Waratahs. Good challenge for the Waratahs here tonight to try and claw their way back into the game. Bernard Foley, he's the player. Shows a lot of patience at this sort of level. Also a test match level as well, a lot of experience. Taken by Foley, hands it back to Michael Hooper. Runs into his Wallaby teammate, Tatafu Pilota now. And that's sloppy. Back it goes to Dave Horwitz. And they're saying play on, knock back there. So Matt Hodgson is at scrum half. Cowan. Philip taken by Horwitz. Wuru forwards working closely there. Blotted out, getting it off to Faulkner. So Lance goes to the air. It's going to come down around halfway. Knocked back into the arms there of Hale Petty. And the penalty goes against the Western Force, holding on. What's the word from Cameron Clark? He pounced very quickly. He saw the opportunity. Struggled to get himself involved in the game so far tonight. The ball hasn't gone his way, Cameron Clark, but he certainly pounced, got his arms over the ball. His body height was superb. Rob Horn makes the tackle there. Cameron Clark comes in, stays on his feet, supports his body weight. So it'll be a Waratahs throw in. 10 metre mark, Hennigan goes high. Safe hands. Gordon. Now Sakopi Kepu. Shoulder seems to be okay again. Foley looks up. And this one here will roll into the in goal. Just overcooking it. They will come back to the 22. That's still okay from Bernard Foley, though. It keeps the ball down this end of the field where. Waratahs are just starting to put the Western Force under a little bit more pressure. The scoreboard pressure at the moment that's hurting the Waratahs. Ten minutes till half time. Jello Lance, it's a bit on it. It's going to come down on the 10 metre mark. Israel Falau for the Waratahs. Has to take the tackle just inside Force territory. Fitzpatrick. Oh, seven. Foley. Hannigan. Oh, Ross Petty went low and forces the mistake. And so it's there as they fling it out the back and onto the left foot now is Ruru. And it's going to go into touch. One bounce. Well, at the moment, it's a line speed defensively for the Western Force, which is hurting the Waratahs to try and throw that second pass off the ruck. And Bernard Foley. Players defensively are already up. And Ned Hannigan had nowhere to go there. He takes the ball. He virtually gets tackled by Ross Halapetti as he takes the ball. Inside. Difficult to throw that second pass in these conditions. That's into touch. Good clearance that time from the Waratahs. Line out on halfway. Bernard Foley. Such a key player for the Waratahs. I mentioned 22 points last week. Had a double last week. He scored the most points and line break assists and most try assists for the Waratahs as well. Fourth season in a row where he scored over 100 points. Tafu Pilota now and knocked back and a wobbly old bounce there for Ruru, but he was able to clean it up. So Hodgson. Wells around the bootlaces. No, no, send it. Philip. Stay wide. From the side, sir. Play advantage. From the side. Jack Dempsey coming in from the side. Ball's and, not uh, out. It's a fine line. The referee was, was right there. And so a good opportunity again for the force to hit the pill inside Waratah's territory. Yeah, Jack Dempsey getting frustrated trying to get some counter-rucking going. 
the Waratahs. Slipping around to the right-hand side, coming through from the side rather than from behind Michael. the last feet. Michael. Yeah, Timmy, it's a sort of night, isn't it, where you've just got to be patient. You've got to trust. Everyone talks about their defensive system. If you're making your first up tackles, you can trust the players inside you to keep knocking them off and then pick your moments, but don't try and force it. As soon as you start bringing the referee and he starts losing patience with you, you start giving the oppos opposition easy metres up the field, which you've just done there. in digging. Now he gives it to Lance and on the angle run is Rona. Making the most of his first season in Super Rugby. Phillip can't find a way through there. Knock on. Wow. Western Force claiming there was a stray boot there from one of the Waratahs. Well, the Waratahs are sending an extra player to the breakdown now defensively. Michael Hooper's the one about two or three out rushing up to force the Western Force runners back in field. Dave Horitz, who signed with the Melbourne Rebels for 2018. Good opportunity here for Naira Voro. Wow, well, well there's a coach killer. Got to be steady. Goes against the Scrum. New South Wales Waratahs. It's only a short arm, so a free kick in the you guys have got to hold Western Force. I know we'll take a scrum. There's your mark. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Just John Lance talking to Dane Halapetti. Also Billy Meeks to about work out what they're going to do in the next five minutes of this match. Petty goes to the left-hand side. Big left-hand side blind. Yeah, Timmy, they've got a little 4-2. We don't see it at the moment, but it's a 4-2 split, which is a nice little setup in these greasy conditions. We know Dane Halapetti's got a really good ball carry, but also sets them up nicely to the right, too, to potentially have some nice one-on-ones and some soft shoulders in these greasy conditions. We'll see which side they choose to go. They go to the left. And Halep Petty puts it on the toe. The chase is on. Brachy coming through. It's loose. And Brachy is claiming a try for the Western Force. Wobbly old ball. He remained committed. What were the Waratahs thinking? Israel Falau and Nora Voro. No one. I believe it's an on field try. Okay. I just want to check grounding. Sure. Okay. They both looked at each other. See you, mate. Mate, our on field decision is a try. I just need you to check grounding. You're looking at the grounding now. For grounding. Great little left foot kick from Dane Halapetti. If he kicks with his right foot here, he's got defence coming across on his right foot. So smart play to go with the left foot to get the ball through. First angle coming up now. So he keeps it on the toe. And reaching out. And he gets the torso over the ball. Was it over the line? First. Is it short or on the line? Did he get any downward pressure when the ball was over the line? I, I th my personally, looking at that, I think he did. I think he literally put his whole stomach on it and put a lot of downward pressure on it when it was over the line. And then it was forced again just post there. So there's definitely no knock on. Uh, just give us a this is our last angle coming through now, Ben. Well, it's it's not the line. Back. Under the blue player. Actually, we have one more angle the director wants to show. Thank you. One more angle here that might show it. Is it over the line? Oh. You've got to give it, haven't you? I don't know. I... It certainly was before the line, but. Nick, you can stay with the on field decision and award the try. Come back on. It is a try to the Western Force. Three tries in the first half already. And it is 19 points to six. Well, that's the poor defensive work from the, the Waratahs. Everyone was looking at each other. 
Rob Horn was the one who went down the ball. Naira Mora had to try and get back. Israel Folau wasn't sure. Marcel Braki picked up his sixth Super Rugby try. Did well to fall on the ball. What's the left foot kick here from Harlot Petty? Rob Horn comes back, tries to get on the ball. Comes off the foot of Naira Mora. Well, Tim, it's a combination of not just on his left boot, but also just the weight of that kick, a really well-executed kick, and see if the extras can be added here. So, John Lance, who is on 99 Super Rugby points. Can he bring up his ton? Not this time. It remains 19 points to six, and it is Marcel Braki's first try at NIB Stadium. Congratulations to him. Good call from Nick Perry, though, the referee. Went with his on-field decision. So the Waratahs have conceded 26-plus points in every away game this season. They've already conceded 19 in the first half at NIB Stadium. So this first half nightmare continues for the men from New South Wales. 36 minutes gone, 19 points to six. Back to Lance. Into touch, quick throw in. Wow. They are now desperate for points before half time. As Hooper takes them forward, they go to the left and Foley to nobody. Well, in fact, it was Just knocked down tackle. by a Western Force player and it went into touch, so that's the reason it didn't link up with anyone. Really important time in the game. Three minutes before half time. Waratahs need to get something on the board before half time. Western Force, their energy has been superb in the first half. They've out enthused the Waratahs. Waratahs had so much ball in the Western Force half. Crouch! Yeah, it's a, a, spot on, Tim. It's a really good opportunity here for the Waratahs to take something into half time. We've got the whole back line lined out here to the right. Maybe a simple play, just everyone hitting square holes in these wet conditions. See if they can get a, a weak shoulder defensively from the force. So Foley, short ball. It goes to Rob Horn. He's claimed by his opposite number, Curtis Rana. Foley. Get around, get around. Hennigan. And Naya Ravoro can't do much from a short run up. Robertson hands it off. And the Western Force defense was just waiting for that. Now it's Hennigan. Serrani wraps him up, but the hands were free, and so he offloads to Foley. Short ball. Line ball, in fact, and then they lose it. And so away they go again. It's two on one. And John O'Lance, Michael Hooper chasing. John O'Lance is going to have too much in the tank. And they run away and break some New South Wales hearts on the stroke of half time. Oh, loose carry from New South Wales. Another coach killer. And the Western Force are on a mission. I gotta send Matt Hodgson out a winner. And the vision too from Takafu Potter now to shift the ball straight away. Gee, I thought Michael Hooper was gonna make some ground on John O. Lance. Well, Takafu Potter now shifted straight away. Knew there was time and space out there. Clark had to come in on Curtis Rona. John O. Lance, just a foot race. Michael Hooper, after being at the breakdown, turned. Couldn't get there. Try time right on half time for the Western Force. Oh, Timmy, you know, good, good teams make the most of turnover opportunities. That's a classic example just before half time. Could that be the one which really does set this into a magical night for Matt Hodgson? A really lovely finish. And he showed a good set of wheels there, John O'Lance. Been obviously doing a bit of speed work, Timmy. <laughs> I thought Michael Hooper was going to make some ground on him. Did not pull any off him whatsoever. Michael Hooper. Wow, doing plenty of talking. He is going off. Not happy. Another loose carry, and they were punished. And John O'Lance now has 100 Super Rugby points, so a milestone for him. Right on the stroke of halftime, 24 points to six, and the crowd likes it. It is over. Wow.
One-way traffic at the moment at NIB Stadium in Perth. Four tries already for the Western Force. Newsom, Bolotta now, Braki and Lance. And just two penalties to the Waratahs. 26 points to six. Let's go to George Bregan. Adam, what a great finish to the first half, mate. A great start and a great finish. Yeah, mate, I think we're really getting some pay out of some really good dominant hits in defence and our spacing in the wet. Things really getting some line speed and getting their faces. Carry on with that in the second half. Thanks, mate. Yeah, we'll do. All the best. What a great way to finish going into half time. It's 26 points to six for the force against the Waratahs at NIB Stadium. £35 off budget car insurance. Another epic deal exclusively from Money Supermarket. Your odds for William Hill. Let's you create and bet on your own markets. Tweet us direct from the William Hill app or from Twitter. And we'll reply with the odds. Join over 200,000 Your Odds customers, a few familiar faces, and view their markets. Spot something you like, one click, it's in your bet slip, and you're on. Your odds from William Hill. Jim Bai Tai. Togetherness. A connection beyond man and machine. It's the Mazda way. The all-new Mazda CX-5. Available with 0% APR. Jim by Tai. Drive together. New Dulux Easy Care with stain repellent technology. Take the stress out of spills. Struggle to bend, jump, or crawl? I couldn't believe it. What happened? Voltarol provides up to three times more effective pain relief than non medicated gel. The triple effect of Voltarol relieves pain at source, reduces inflammation, helps speed up recovery. Voltarol, the joy of movement. There's up to £100,000 to be won five times a week with the health lottery and at just one pound we're half the price of lotto dreams mean everything they're the stories we tell ourselves of what could be they're coming after us when an enemy's down on the field you gotta finish him arrived here at NIB Stadium tonight determined to send their great captain Matt Hodgson out in style and after 40 minutes they are doing Tim Warren exactly that. Hey, what a start it was from Alex Newsom, Curtis Rona, a nice break in the first two minutes of the game and just the way they're, they're out enthusing the Waratahs to most to Tafu plot and out and it's a decision by Matt Hodgson not to kick for goal but to actually keep the pressure on the Waratahs and go for a, a high 
side mean a lot out, and it certainly paid to Tarpa Potter. Had a bit of work to do towards the end and got the ball down. So it wasn't over. Congratulations for Tatafu, the former Waratah, out there tonight. And there was more to come. This one went upstairs. Marcel Braki just landing on the ball rather than really forcing it with his hands. The on field ref said, Yeah, I think it's a try. The TMO agreed, and it was awarded five points. And then the turnover right on half time. John O'Lance, a foot race between the skipper Michael Hooper and John O'Lance. He knew how important that try was right on half time. I tell you what, this is going to be a hard lead to peg back for the Waratahs in these conditions here. Oh, terrible conditions at NIB Stadium, and it is teaming down again here at half time. So, 26 6, four tries for the Western Force in that first half. Peter Grant with two conversions. John O'Lance with uh, that one conversion just before half time. Just the two penalties to Bernard Foley in that first half for the Waratahs, and the Tars are on track to concede 40 points in a game for the fourth match in a row. Their defence effort. A lot of questions being asked about that, but uh, wow. If they wanted to send Matt Hodgson out, the force are going the right way about it. They are. They're out enthusing the Waratahs. They're also they're playing a little bit like New Zealand teams do. They, they don't need the ball. They're playing defensive pressure, moving up, putting a lot of pressure on the second pass of the Waratahs, and Waratahs aren't playing a lot of field position, but I tell you what, the Western Force, they're just waiting for mistakes and pouncing. And they did exactly that just before half-time. That try to John O'Lance was as a result of a Waratahs error, yet another Waratahs Waratahs error, and it is their errors and their discipline, it must be said, that's letting them down. Yeah, Ned Hannigan taking the ball across the advantage line and just couldn't, couldn't place the ball back, losing control and good vision from Tatafu Plotter now to see there was space to the right-hand side and John O'Lance pounces and they just know how important it is, not just for the game, but for, for Matt Hodgson, the skipper, to try and send him out a winner. But the amount of possession that the Waratahs have had, but you look at time in the opposition half, amazing amount of percentage there, 75% for the Waratahs and that's what I was saying with the Western Force they're happy not to have the ball they're just happy to put pressure on defensively and uh, when you look at the way the turnovers are hurting both teams but uh, 7 plus phases, 3 times the Waratahs have got over 7 plus phases but haven't had a lot to show for it because of the defensive pressure of the Western Force so far tonight It would be a nice way for the Western Force to end their season, we don't know what their future is in 2018 but a win here, a nice full stop on the 2017 season a break and after that straight back here to NIB Stadium an incredible 10 places at the open before they tee off for new and existing customers. Skybet. That's betting better. Jim Bai Tai. Togetherness. A connection beyond man and machine. It's the master way. The all-new Mazda CX-5. Available with 0% APR. Jim by Tai. Drive together. The Simba Mattress. Built to survive the most rigorous testing. Responsive memory foam. Up to 2,500 springs. Breathable sleep surface. Because you do more in bed than just sleep. Enjoy a 100 night trial. Gift Gaffer, which recommended mobile network provider five years in a row. Because with no contract, you're free to go, free to stay. Gift Gaff, the mobile network run by you. TSB believes that the more you put into a partnership, the more you should get back. That's why their famous Plus account now gives you £5 cash back every month just for regularly spending with your debit card. Plus, £5 cash back every month just for having two direct debits. Plus, 3% interest on balances up to £1,500, which isn't just a teaser rate that gets taken away after a year. 
So why not join TSB? No bank gives you more with no monthly fee. A few days ago, Nick had back pain. He struggled to bend, jump, or crawl. I wouldn't believe it. What happened? Voltarol provides up to three times more effective pain relief than non-medicated gel. The triple effect of Voltarol relieves pain at source, reduces inflammation, helps speed up recovery. Voltarol, the joy of movement. Enemies to the east. Enemies to the west. Enemies to the south. Enemies to the north. Whatever stands in our way, we will defeat it. If we don't put aside our enmities and band together, we will die. And then it doesn't matter whose skeleton sits on the Iron Throne. The Great War is here. One-way traffic at NIB Stadium. It's all going to plan for Matt Hodgson in his final game at the Western Force. They lead by 26 to 6. Daryl Gibson, the Waratahs coach. Let's hear from him. Daryl, obviously disappointing first half, but what was the message to the team at halftime? Oh, we've got to keep keep going. You know, we're getting a lesson on with the rugby at the moment. You know, turning the ball over and, and giving the force some easy scores. They're the main things that need to be proven for this second 40, last 40 for the year? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we're going to not, not go out, not trying. You know, and give it a bloody good crack in this half. Good luck in that second half, mate. Thanks, George. Yes, it's been another dismal first half for the Waratahs and their coach, Daryl Gibson. Waratahs. They average 26 points against them on the road. Well, they've already given up 26 in the first half as they kick off now. And it's going to fall for the Western Force after a knock-on by the Waratahs. And the penalty goes to the Western Force. Perfect, perfect start to the second half. And uh, well, a few emotions out there. Here, Dean Mum running in there. No. Leave it, boys. Leave it. Go back. And that's OK. You need to try and spark something for the Waratahs. Blue, step back, please. Blue, step back. White, off you go. Adam Coleman right in the thick of it. Take him back, Dean. Back. Old Bull versus Young Bull. <laughs> Will anything. 33 year old Dean Mum. No, Coops. Timmy and the 25 year old Adam Coleman. Sorry, George. I was going to say, Clark, you'll have to call that like, the Super Rugby Waltz at the moment, isn't it? There's a lot of push and shove and from side to side, yeah. but, um, you know, that's what happens with the tight forwards, having been banging heads against each other for the last couple of seasons. It's just uh, that sort of a night. Well, he raced in because he thought Matt Hodgson played on. Tom Robinson, but. A little bit of push and shove. Yeah, that's a good touch finder. Terrific opportunity early on for the Western Force. They're 26 points so far. All scored in the first half, so that's the most first half points at home since 2014. They're on a mission. It's good effort, isn't it? Four tries in the first half. Nice Rani at the front. Yes, and a lot of now. We saw so much of this in the wet conditions in the first half, and they rumble upfield. Going for a bit of a ride there is Ned Hennigan. I don't know what he's doing in the air, but anyway, the arm goes out. So this is a real lesson in the wet weather by the Western Force, and they get the penalty. One white. One white. Goes against Tom Robinson, pulling down the ball. One white. And you would think Matt Hodgson would still go to touch here. Well, why not with the rolling ball working so well? Yeah, a long way out. It's an awkward pitch here. Ned Hannigan, he's a boy from the bush, he's ridden plenty of bulls before, I'm sure, or horses. Yeah, he was riding the force chariot there, wasn't he? He's right on top, getting right amongst it. Uh, didn't quite buck him, but uh, it's been a really strong weapon for them tonight, the force. Not surprising they've gone to the line out again. 
Tatafu Pilota now finds the target. Philip and he's held up there, so this is an opportunity for the Waratahs to hold it in there, and they do. So, yeah, he just couldn't get it to ground, could he? Couldn't get it on his side. Well, that time then, Hannigan got his arms around the ball, and Nick Perry, the referee, said more. So, Waratahs players didn't have to roll away so they can fall on the ball. In the first 40 minutes, the Western Force has shown you don't need the ball in wet weather rugby to win the game. Four tries in the first half, a couple off turnovers. It's all their defensive pressure at the moment up against the Waratahs. Waratahs trying to push too many short passes. Well, the only thing going for the Waratahs is they've been able to score plenty of second half points this season. And they need to certainly score plenty tonight again. And the big shove is coming, and it's on the ground, and oh, this could be a fairy tale. It is in his final game for the Western Force. Matt Hodgson swoops, and he has got a try. It's his 20th try, so he brings up 100 points. Wow, who is writing this script over here in WA? The Western Force fans cannot believe it. Five tries so far in this match. And the skipper, Matt Hodson, in his last game ever, gets probably the easiest try that he'll ever get in his career. The pressure from the four scrum, and it came out the back. Michael Wells couldn't hold it, and Matt Hodson pounced. Bang, what a try. Oh, that's just a fantastic scrum, a really well-worked uh eight man shove they two went around the corner on the loose head side then went straight and that ball spits out the side and aren't the coaches happy with that and particularly seeing the skipper matt hodgson go over for that try who is writing the script matt hodgson could not believe it and john o'lance can't add the extra two but that is a fantastic start to the second half 31 points to six so the family, mum and dad, his wife there is Max there. What a proud man he must be. And I tell you what, the coach would be feeling rather proud at the moment. Let's go to Dave Vessels. Dave, you said you weren't going to try and bottle their emotion. You said let the players run with it, and they're running with it. Yeah, I mean, I think we've defended uh, well in that first half clock. You've probably created a bit of pressure, you know, and we just got to keep doing that. I'm, I'm just very pleased to, that, that Hodger scored that try. It was a great moment, you know, so I was, I was very, very, very chuffed with that. Dave, you seem to be playing really good wet weather football, not controlling the ball too much, but defensively being outstanding, especially with the forward runners for the Waratahs. Yeah, we worked hard on our defence this week because I didn't think we were great there last week and we needed to be better. You know, the Waratahs are, are a very good attacking outfit, so we needed to be better and so far so good. But uh, as we know, they've, they've been very strong in the second half of the last couple of games, so there's, there's a long way to go here still. OK, well, thank you very much for your time. So far, so good. As Foley chips ahead and a good take by Newsom as well. Dave Vessels, like all of us, waiting to hear whether we'll be back at NIB Stadium next year or will the Western Force be cut from Super Rugby? Well, they've been here 12 years, Clarky. And on this performance tonight, well, a lot of people are going to say, what, you've got to cut them? Yeah. Well, they've only had a 32% win record since they started, but... What a moment for Matt Hodgson, one of the foundation members of the Western Force, scoring a try in his last game ever. Well, prior to tonight, the Force had only ever scored 20-plus points just once at NIB Stadium against the Waratahs. Now they've got 31. Remember, the Waratahs have been leaking points, so it looks like they might head to the stats pages again. It could be 40-plus points conceded yet again in a match in 2017. Another turnover. Dave Horwitz trying to get a pass away, went to ground. Pick and go here from Naisarani. So Ruru gets it out to Dono Lance. Started on the bench, but he's out there for the uh, injured Peter Grant. Israel Falau. Safely into touch, didn't pick up too many metres. He's been well contained tonight. It's been difficult for the outside backs for the Waratahs. No ball for them whatsoever. 
the men in blue dominating things in close in particular Billy Meeks, that man there, midfield for the Western Force, has got through an amount of, of work defensively. Not straight, guys. So that is not straight. I'm a 15. So it will be a put in for the Waratahs. Most points ever scored against the Waratahs by the Western Force. Well, it'll be interesting to see what Daryl Gibson does. He's got a lot of players on the bench that be itching to get out there. Nick Phipps, Andrew Callaway, Ryan McCauley as well, the second rower, loose forward, Give me that space. yet to make his debut. Crouch. Fine. Ten metre mark. Gordon puts it in. And Foley finds some grass and it sits up nicely though. Backwards. Michael Ruru did well to scramble back. His teammates did well to get back there as well and secure it at the breakdown. There's Lance and he rushes the kick but gets it away. Down to Falau and across to Foley. Takes them on, can't find a way through. Pick and go here, Fitzpatrick. Turnover's good. And the turnover was good at the breakdown by the Western Force. A nice Arani. Dragged down from behind, but got them on the front foot. And Hodgson. Cowan. Another one of the foundation players. There's only two of them left, Peck Cowan and Matt Hodgson. And Peck Cowan will get his time next year because he is staying on for another year. Here's Falau, not kicking this time. Stay. Gordon, out to Hooper. Meeks claims him. Get out of it, Blue! Box kick coming from uh, Gordon. Well, it's a well the Western to... Force just continued to control it, Tim. Yeah, it was a well way to kick for the Western Force. Yeah, you're right, Tim. That's a really clever play. Michael Ruru showed some really good initiative, really decisive play. Saw there was a turnover. No one was back left. Kicked it into space. Forced his Falau into that right-hand corner where he had no angle. Forced him to actually carry it. And here they are, 38 metres out from there. Waratah's line with a great attacking line. And they'll go to that drive. Why not in these conditions? It's worked so well for them tonight. Well, they're in control now. And these sort of moves just eat away the seconds as well. And it helps them control field position. Five out, five. Waratah's bodies all over the place there being left behind, but it's going to be the Waratahs that will get the put in. As we have a look at the Waratahs bench now, and can somebody come out and pull off a little bit of magic? Nick Phipps there, back from injury. An injury that cost him any chance of playing in the June tests. I think you've got to get some fresh legs on the next five minutes, Clarky. The players out there at the moment, it's been in pretty tough conditions to play in for the Waratahs. And some of them look out on their feet. It's not a very tall line out for the Waratahs. And Nicerani, the number eight for the force, has been picked up a couple of line outs at the front of the line out pretty easily. Just while we've got an opportunity, some big news in Australian rugby breaking tonight. Former Wallaby coach Alan Jones has been named as the coach of the Barbarians to play the Wallabies in October. We'll hear more about that. Jones against Checker. Yeah, one week after the third Bledisloe Cup in Brisbane, will be played, Barbarians game played in Sydney the week following. So the Waratahs, Foley, got it out now to Falau. Where's his support? Falau up over halfway. Couldn't link up with Clark on the outside. Pick and go, now it's Clark. And he's just going to charge up to the 22. Rock. Old blue. Rob Horn, any swan song for the Waratahs. 
Hennigan to Foley. Falau, dummies. Got it to Foley. And he just manages to hold on. Went backwards in the end. That's the 22. Western Force had a man down in back play. It's Marcel Braki. Waratahs just trying to work their way through the middle. Wells head down. And the penalty goes against Michael Wells holding on. Terrific work by the Western Force as Marcel Braki leaves the field. And they take it quickly. And it is rolling into touch right down near the Waratahs 22. Well, it's the pace of the game. Western Force, Dane Halapetti that time, seeing there was no one home. He really picked the pace of the game up right throughout this match. And the level of intensity has been superb. That time, Michael Wells getting caught, getting isolated on his own, number eight. Yeah, full on, put it through his warning. Let's go, Blue. Oh, Come Jimmy, in. you would have been really impressed by that turnover, which was forced there. So we're seeing here the quick, quick decision making. There's the space. Bang! Day had it. Petty calves off 80 meters. That big right boot. But prior to that, Bill Meeks came up with a huge turnover and another forced mistake here from the Waratahs. Well, they won the line out and then they cough it up. I just look out of sorts in the last couple of matches, the Waratahs, and just confidence in the player next to them, and that trust. To trust the person who's running next to you. Okay. Three reserves come onto the field. Well, we say now farewell to Dean Mum. His Super Rugby career is over. What a career it's been. 33 years of age, 116th appearance, most capped New South Wales lock, 57 tests, nine seasons. He was the 84th Wallaby captain. Congratulations on a great career. Dean Mum. No fairy tale finish there for Dean Mum, but what a career that he has had, Parky, as you mentioned. One test as captain. Not a way you'd like to finish. Jake Gordon is off as well, so Nick Phipps is out there. He'll bring plenty of enthusiasm, plenty of energy, but the combinations just aren't there. Confidence is lacking. And the Western Force, they are on a mission. Fine! Set! They've won just twice against the Waratahs at home. They won three times away. Steady, boys. On this side. Same march. There you go, guys. It's Bernard Foley doing his utmost to try and rally the troops. Crouch! Fine! And Hodgson told us before the game that there's no tomorrow, so he's going to leave everything out on the pitch. Sarani. Penalty. Michael Hooper penalised for coming off the scrum early. Michael Hooper saying we've been very hard done by, you know. One of the Western Force players was off the scrum as well. Yeah, it's momentum though. When you're on a roll in a team, the momentum and penalties seem to go with you. Ten penalties conceded by the Waratahs to the Western Force five. Momentum is a killer against you. They're just taking their time now. Long range shot from out wide. Well, if it stays this way, the Western Force are going to finish second in the Australian Conference. Well, five wins, this will be their sixth win, Clark, wouldn't it? it um, 
which will match the Brumbies, but the Brumbies getting through to the top spot in the Australian Conference because of their bonus points. Brumbies will play the Hurricanes next Friday night in Canberra. Start of the top eight playoffs, and Lance from out wide. The crowd were cheering before it hit the post, and now a loose ball, and the Waratahs can't clean it up, and the Western Force fly in there. And it is a penalty, and he might go to the pocket here. Was it cynical? No, just a penalty. When it's going your way and you've got momentum, the ball hitting the upright. Straight back, I think it was to Alex Newsom. Look at Billy Meek smiling there, he can't believe it. Now, John Lance will get a much easier kick. Right in front of the post. They'll take the points. And they'll keep the scoreboard pressure on. Watch this. Watch Alex Newsom follow the kick up. It's the post comes straight down. Yeah. Just falls in his lap after Billy Meeks putting a hit on. Dave McDooling. Yep. So John O'Lance inflicting more pain on the Waratahs. It is 34 points to six. 59 minutes gone at NIB Stadium. I think a lot of people saw this coming, but maybe not by this scoreline, this margin. They're expecting a lot of passion out of the force, and that's the way it's been. Look at that, six penalties in a row conceded by the, the Waratahs. They've been their own worst enemy. Discipline's really hurt them. Yellow card early on in the match to Jake Gordon. Been out enthused in wet weather conditions by the force. And lost forward by the Waratahs. So still nothing going the way of the uh, visitors. And they certainly are earning the breaking right, aren't they? The Western force. Some more replacements coming on for the Waratahs now. Some fresh legs. Hugh Roach will come on, replace Damian Fitzpatrick. And also Mac Mason looks like he's coming on as well for the Waratahs in midfield. And that is the end of uh, the New South Wales career for the time being, at least, for uh, David Horwitz, the 22-year-old. A couple of seasons with the Waratahs. He's played 27 games, and he is heading to the Melbourne Rebels in 2018. So Mac Mason is on, just 21 years of age, and he looks like he's going to be staying at the Waratahs as well as they try and just get things happening again in the off-season. Looks like it's going to be their worst season since 2012. Western Force, five metres inside Waratah's territory. Phillip. Wells went low. Out the back door to John O'Lance. And Hale of Pity, this Ross Hale of Pity, taken by Hennigan. Tono Lance showing and then going. And oh, stolen. Stolen by Dave McDooling for the Waratahs around halfway. Phipps gets out to Tom Robertson. He goes over the halfway mark. And Israel Folau dummying and taking them on. Got away from Hodgson, but then the ball went to Horn. And he's taken about 30 metres out. Oh, and another one. Another one hits the deck. Yeah, one each way, guys. Play the first one from White. Well, Israel Folau making a couple of half breaks tonight. But their support runners are a long way back. They just don't, they're not anticipating that man there, Israel Folau. He's only run over 60 odd metres, six runs, but a couple of offloads. But he can do more offloads if the support runners are there with him and anticipate that every time he gets the ball he's going to make a half break and run off his shoulder you're a long way back in support at the moment yeah, it's a good point to me because he does he's in that sort of form in the last month where he's beating that defender and getting in between 
between two tackles with his hands free. So you've he got chased to, through. You've got to expect him to make a half break. Yeah, and don't allow that defender to get in between you and that passing lane. That's that was the other noticeable thing in that particular half break. Yep. David Lola here is on there in jersey 17. For most of the season, Paddy Ryan's been wearing that jersey, but he's on the injured list. And again, another good scrum by the uh, Western Force. Well, it's a lesson in so many aspects of the game by the Western Force tonight. Clarky, this has been a wet weather exhibition from the force. Like you talk about, like there's going to be a lot of emotion, a lot of passion because of Hodjo, Matt Hodgson's final game here uh, for, for the Western Force. But it's been a nice mixture of that, plus a really clinical um, skill execution. Then measuring the tempo of the game, like here they've slowed it down, other times they've sped it up, but they've played to their strengths and they've been really focused on how they wanted to execute their game plan tonight. Yeah, they've managed it really well, haven't they? Just at the right time. The front row has been superb. Cowan, Faulkner, Pilotta now. Five tries to none. Move! It may look, look pretty, but gee, it's been effective tonight. The mauling by the Western Force. Ruru, crossfield. Picks up a runner. Offside play there. Knock on. He's played it on the ground. Knock on. That's the, only, in the ground in offside position. That's the first mistake from Billy Meeks midfield. I think he's been one of the buyers of the season for Super Rugby in Australia. Billy Meeks coming from Gloucester in the UK Premiership. He's really hardened up the midfield for the Western Force this season. Most run beaters and tackle bus in 2017 for yes. the Western Force. Okay. Just the one try, Six but moves. as you say, he's been there to do more than score tries. He's very good on defence. Time off. Subs. Blue, you're on the line. Time back on. Ross Petty is coming from the field. And there is more possession for the force, but they kick it down to Israel Folau. Phipps. Oh, and then knocked off. It's a comedy of errors by New South Wales in a season that can't end quick enough for them. Yeah, it's the pressure of the breakdown again from the Western Force. It wasn't Dave McDooling's fault. The ball flung on the ground, but that was because the pressure at the breakdown. And they're all keen to get out there and have a crack, aren't they? Yep. The Western Force. They've got names written on the front of their jerseys. Names of the players who have worn the Western Force jersey so proudly over the past 12 years. It's a big names, isn't there? Drew Mitchell, Matt Giddo, David Pocock, Nathan Sharp. James O'Connor. Yep. Fine! Clarky, we are in the territory of uh, record victories for the Western Force over the Waratahs twice. They've beaten them by 12 points, but uh, never by 28. So it's a sense of history here tonight with that man saying goodbye. We don't know what the future is for the Western Force in 2018, but uh, another record in the offing. Be interesting to see whether he can last the last 15 minutes. Matt Hodgson orders Dave Vessels, the coach. Bring him off with five or ten to go to get a standing Fine. ovation. I'm sure he'd like to stay on for 80. Set. Hold. Western Force. Road minder reset. Paddy Hodgson, he's the 19th oldest. Player in Super Rugby at 36 years of age. Crouch! Fine! Set! Better scrum from the Waratahs this time, but the ball was out and 
course, were able to control it in the nick of time. Now it's Tatafu plotted out. Angus Teobau goes in to wrap him up. Second one, Mikey Vanish for the knock-on. Picked up by, Dave, uh, by Andrew Callaway. Release now, Tuckler! Now uh, playing on the right wing in place of Naya Ravora. Well, here and Make Mace, an inside Bain ball to off. Foley. And he can't control Bain it, Bain so Bain another Bain mistake. Off. And now Alex Newsom, taken by Mason. Hold! Vantage over. Vantage is over. Out the back it goes to Meeks. It's sloppy, but it sits up, and it's been sitting up all night for the Western Force, and Naisarani has a man on the outside. There it is. Slowed there by Callaway, but it is the Western Force looking to come up with a killer punch inside Waratah's territory. Hodgson, and straight into Teovau. And the penalty so goes to the Western Force. It is right in front. Tree, but you've come off your feet. Let it go, guys. Let it go. Nick Berry, the referee, right on the spot. Yeah, Going got, off your feet. They got through some phases there, the Western Force. Got wide. Nice Arani stayed on his feet. Just good interchange of play. In wet weather conditions, the depth of the pass, Billy Meeks threw the pass, went out wide. Dane Halapetti picked it up. Nice Arani. He's been so good. For the Western Force this year, what a buy he's been. Verity Arm going through. Just the confidence in the players around them tonight, George, the Western Force, and the trust they've got in each other's been superb. Yeah, definitely, Timmy, and I think that's been building all through the year. They've been really comfortable um, evolving their game, and you see everyone from 1 to 15 on the field has a good understanding of where they need to be at the right moments from turnover ball, from set piece, and they just want to keep adding every time they come down to this part of the field with more points. Hello, lads, right in front. Flags go up. 37 points to six. Well, they've already got their bonus points, so taking the kick for goal with 10 minutes to go. Ross Howard Petty on the sideline being replaced. Have you got four off? One. Former Waratah himself. John O'Lancer, you've got to remember also that Matt Hodgson was also a former Waratah, but uncapped. And uh, there's the rest of the squad for the Western Force. A lot of players on the bench there. Ben McKelman, one of them. Shemblek de on. And now another loose carry by the Waratahs. Carmichael on for uh, Philip as well. So Dave McDerling. Another mistake. There's been some energy in that force team. Look at Adam Coleman. He knows how important it is. The handling errors, nine apiece, but the crucial ones for the Waratahs is when they've been on attack. Adam Coleman played for the Waratahs. How sweet this will be for him. Tafu Potter now as well. Same mark. Yes, they're enjoying it, aren't they? The Western Force. Adam Coleman. Super rugby debut for the Waratahs. One cap before heading to the Force in 2013. It's become a, a premier lock in Australian rugby. Down on that far side. It'll really make Michael Checker good, good and the Wallaby again. selectors sit up, though, too. Not just this win, but also the season for the Western Force as well. You've got to pick players in form. Test match against the All Blacks, middle of August. Adam Coleman, certainty. Dane Halapetti as well. Hodgson, he is leaving it all out there, isn't he? Look at that. Most tackles. Crouch. Yeah, followed by Adam Coleman, Bill Meeks, Bologna now. Fine. Not a Waratah in sight. Set. Still time for the force to inflict more pain. 
on the Waratahs. Finding some space up the middle. Meeks, good carry again. Ruru at scrum half. Wide ball out to Curtis Rona. And now Katafu plotted out. Curtis Rona keeps it on the toe. And Flowers there and does well to stay in the field of play. And the penalty goes against the Western Force. A high tackle there. And they take it quickly. And wide they go now. Inside ball to Callaway. Where's the support? Mason is there. Fresh legs. Phipps. Phipps kicks. He was playing advantage. So they'll take it quickly. Another man in the way there. Go, go, go. Touch. And Foley finds touch. Well, can they break their try drought tonight, the Waratahs? Seven minutes remaining. How, frust how frustrated this Bernard Foley look. He he's tried his heart out tonight. He hasn't had much support around him. He's been forced to go back infield from the defence from the Western Force tonight. Michael Hooper at the inside. Tarafu pulling it out. What a match from him as he leads the field. And now it is the Waratahs. With probably their best opportunity of scoring in this match so far. Here's a big moment for the youngster, number 20, Ryan McCauley, 20 years of age. Mason, advantage being played here for the Waratahs. They get it wide, and Hale Petty is there, but uh, he was playing advantage. Previous phase, 15 and 11 blue offside. Dane Hale Petty rushing up quickly on the right hand side. First time in three seasons that uh, he hasn't run a thousand meters Bain had a petty but he's been doing been injured a lot hasn't he in the start of the season he's been doing uh, more than his fair share of the work so the Waratahs and it's happened at long last and it is Roach that dives over so it's taken nearly 74 and a half minutes for their first try and it's his first Super Rugby try, so congratulations to Hugh Roach. Yeah, well worked play at the front of the line out. Ned Hannigan gets lifted. Michael Hooper comes around short side. Hugh Roach, a little bit of work to do. Did well. It's been popular, hasn't it, Timmy? The front of the line out. We've seen a number of teams execute that around the front Thanks, of the line out, come away with some tries. Teams like the Chiefs, we've also seen the Brumbies use it a few times. And then the. The Waratahs use that against the force just then for some. And this one is out to the left from Foley. So 37 points to 11. Five minutes left of the match. Western Force, as we mentioned, already has the bonus point. The next five minutes will be special for Matt Hodson, the skipper. His last game ever on home soil. A massive win against the arch enemy, the Waratahs. There he is, the skipper. 140 odd Super Rugby games, 11 Test matches. It's a good restart as well. They're still applying pressure. Yeah, one inch, one inch wave. First one off blue. Thank you. It's the first knock on by the Western Force. Ian Pryor in Jersey 21 there, the replacement scrum half. Congratulations to him. It's his 50th game for the Western Force. 81st Super Rugby cap with 50 for the Force. So he's out there celebrating along with the rest of the 23-man squad today. Bit of journeyman, Queensland Reds and Brumbies. The Waratahs are going to lose four in a row for the first time since 2012-2013. The points conceded is a record. That's a record this year's squad did not want, and even Israel Folau shows that he's human. He can make a mistake as well. Now the chip, read by Phipps. No, leave it. 
Roach goes into scrum half. Galloway, nothing happening there. Outside White! Outside nine. Past ten. Back Mason to Michael Hooper. No rugby for him in the coming week, so he'll be concentrating on getting himself right for the rugby championship yes. with the Wallabies. Now Michael Wells up to the 22. Release through! Play advantage. There's another mistake. Let it go, let it go. Five, four. We don't need it. A lot of frustration from the Waratahs. Get him back, Billy. Get him back. Dropped a lot of ball. There's the two number sevens. Hooper, Hodgson. Come on. Boys, let it go. Let it go. This is really good experience for the younger players in the Waratahs to feel what it likes. I know, I know. Two minutes to go. Yeah. Young players like Mason, McCauley, Cameron Clark. Come back on. Ned Hannigan, the next generation of this Waratahs team. Yeah, I think, Timmy, what you're saying there is, is important. You've got you, you to sometimes feel and experience those painful times, and this has obviously been a painful year for the Waratahs, but you've got to learn from this and grow from it. You've seen someone like an Adam Coleman, his growth and development in the last couple of years, particularly in the last 12 months, and now he's an international caliber player who really leads his team through example. And he's got workers around him too. Matt Phillip, Tetra Fork has been superb. As long as There's Adam Coleman. Gap, yeah? For the Waratahs fans suffering through this season, is it an easy fix? Well, i tell you what, you've got to prune back that tree because there's some players out there tonight on paper. You look at the experienced players, Bernard Crunch. Foley, Michael Hooper, Five. Dean Mum, Sakopi Kepu, Israel Falau. There's plenty of test match experience there, but they've been out enthused and outplayed in the wet weather conditions tonight by the force. And they've got time for another one. Will Matt Hodgson step up and take one in front of the post? Wouldn't that be a fairy tale finish? Let it go, let it go! He's standing at the back of this track out without even contemplating going in there. He's all smiles. Jay Lance looked at him straight away and said, what do you think? Should you take the three points in front? Is he going to step up? Oh, yeah. They're on their feet at NIB Stadium. He has scored 20 tries, but he hasn't kicked a penalty. I don't know whether you'll go around the corner or what goes straight on. And here is Max, his dad. He hasn't been in the best of health, but he made the trip across from the central coast of, in New South Wales. Hunter and Buddy's boys are here tonight. His wife, Jody, his mum, Anne Marie, many of his teammates from Avoca. Matt Hodson, he was looking at John O'Land saying, how do I put the ball down on the tee? <laughs> That's what the hustlers do, isn't it, Timmy? That old chestnut, like you in golf. Here he goes. A fairy tale ending for Matt Hodson. Unbelievable scenes at NIB Stadium. They wanted to send him out a winner. He had the final say. He scored his 20th try. And he kicks his side to a 40 points to 6 victory. What a moment. 40 points to 11. What a moment for the Western Force. Six wins in the competition so far this year. And that man there, Matt Hodgson, leaves the game of rugby perfect conditions. What they go moment. back to back for the first time this year. And Matt Hodgson is going to celebrate his final game, a foundation player, debut in 2006. He was there in day one. He was there in the final game in 2017. 140th cap, 54th as captain. That's now 47 wins for the force. And that is a club record as well. 26 points to six at half time. And the Western force have hammered the Waratahs after that final.